Now we're bringing it to the kitchen and we're collaborating to make some kitchen in, or rather some magic in the kitchen. And maybe you will feel like you made the kitchen as well at the end of it. <laughs> Let's talk about an air fryer, guys. We know that an air fryer has definitely become the trendy appliance to have in your home these days. So many people are getting these and you have been asking us to make more recipes to make, uh, you know, uh, uh, magic with in the kitchen, making use of an air fryer. And man, oh man, do we have the ultimate chicken strip recipe to share with you this morning. Morning. We are taking it to town. This recipe is for you, Yasmin Karim, who sent this Facebook comment saying, Good morning. Can you please make more air fryer recipes? Thanks. Yasmin, Simple request. The answer is, Oh, yes. Of course. Oh, yes, of course. Of easy course. peasy lemon <laughs> squeezy. squeezy. This really is mm. easy and simple, and obviously you're using a lot less oil because you're using the air fryer. So yeah. I'm going to take part, like, to care of the, this part of the collaborative yep. efforts okay. in our, our chicken strips themselves. Yeah. And this is a great base for any kind of batter. I love this. You've got to have the panko, but we've got a few flavor additions there that are going to really help. Great. But you get this right, you are going to be winning all the way, and then and you're going, going to take the care sauce. of the dip. Well, the thing about the, the dip is that it makes the chicken strips... It makes the chicken strips, right? You'll get nowhere without the dip, let's yeah, be honest. You've got to have the perfect dip. I like a bit of spice, but a honey mustard is lovely. Just man. as good. Okay, so listen, we've got some mayo in there, and I'm going to be adding some of our cl uh, Clover Classic uh, plain low-fat dairy snack going in there. I'm gonna get two tablespoons of that going in there. I've got some whole grain mustard that I'm throwing into the mix. I mean, oh, you are not gonna go wrong with that one. And then you got some uh, hot uh, English mustard going in there. Oh, I love that with some honey in the mix. Throwing That's the a honey beautiful flavor in. profile, especially right? with chicken. Honey mustard with chicken is absolutely mm. beautiful. Mm. Okay, so let's deal with the chicken here. So I've got mm. two eggs that I've I've beaten up here, and that's going to form part of our batter. Uh, but first, we need to dust and coat our chicken. So we've okay. got some flour here. So we're going to put the flour in there as well. Good man. Um, some black pepper. Good man. Biggie soot. Biggie soot. And then we've been using both of these quite a lot um, in our recipes recently, and it's just a great hack to bump up the flavor. So you've got um, your garlic powder and onion powder. So the combination of those two. The flavor The flavor, is I mean, amazing. that already sounds magnificent. It, it really is spectacular, especially yep. for this kind of thing. And you want a batter to have a bit of flavor. It's mm. not just about getting the crisp, but you need a bit of flavor in there. OK, yep. so. We've got our, our flour mixture, you and you basically want to make yeah. sure that your chicken pieces are nicely coated. Then we're going to... I know we always say, in a COVID-safe kitchen, you never double dip, but we are going to double dip in this case. So we've mm. got a nice floury batter. Nice. Or the flour portion, mm -hmm. dusted all over each chicken piece. Right. And then I'm going to ask you to get our basket in the air fryer out so we can put these guys, decant them straight in. OK. There we go. Got it. Okay, okay so, so first, get that in chicken piece goes here. into our egg batter. Mm -hmm. And then, easy peasy. Lemon. Lemon, squeezy there into our panko so you get a nice liberal coating. And net soy, pop it Good. in there. Love that. Um, and you basically, I, I suppose you could even go for two rounds of this if you were so inclined. Yeah, what's your style in terms of... Uh, <sighs> how thin or how thick you go with the chicken strips. Because uh, I, I, I like go... when they're generous, hey? when they're nice and thick. You see, I'm the opposite. I like, like maximum crunch. Um, so yeah. for me, I will go slightly thinner with, with like bucket loads oh, of... So you thicken it in that of way. Of coating. That's, That's when you my, get the thickness from the coating. Well, listen, we've made this really simple for you. If you want to get involved with this recipe, it's available for you to participate in and with. It's on expressoshow.com, all of the ingredients, and you can see there aren't many ingredients, but all of That's these few is. ingredients, simple and effective, are going to make this the magic that you need from your chicken strips. Love that. See how simple and easy this really... I mean, you could do this with your fingers and get really messy, but yeah. a pair of tongs do help. Mm. Um, and that you're going to get the two layers of crunch on this, which I think is going to be beautiful. The chicken strips are also perfect for uh, when people arrive and it's like starters, for example. Let's say you were hosting at home uh, just before maybe watching a movie or before the Bryce starts their night. Nice really before just the like rugby on Saturday. Ready for the rugby. Or if you're hosting during the week, for example, just for some TV watching and catching up and you want to be cozying up with your favorite people, this is it, this is it, brings people together. And I think, I think having, um, so we'll, let's, let's leave it there. I think having slightly smaller chicken strips as well just helps with the cooking process. Yeah. So you want the, the strips to cook quite, quite quickly okay, and cool. easy. I'm and then gonna you get pop that them in. back yeah. in. Mm -hmm. 
right. Again, now we're not having to deep fry. You're not using kind no. of excessive amounts of oil. I think you, you know, 80% less oil in the end, mm -hmm. and it's going to come out beautifully golden, crisp, and delicious, and ready to oh, devour. And here it go. Here it go. Hear it go. Oh. There is nothing better for me than the sound of the air fryer when it's just going. It's, it's just, just going. purring, man. So uh, you, you demanded more air fryer recipes, and we are delivering. This is a great yeah. way, especially if you're learning how to really maximize your air fryer. This is a great entry-level yeah. recipe, if you will, and you can find it on expressoshow.com. Mm -hmm.